welcome back to the channel. Now today, I need to get working on my yard. I know it's not the Ranger, I know it's not some of my other vehicle projects, but it is engine related. It is spring, finally, kind of. And that means my yard's getting out of control. Now I need to get my mower out and make sure that it's ready to go for the season. I need to give it a good once over. I've kind of done this before, but mainly it was fixing the mower and getting it working. Now I do have two mowers because of the one being broken. So it'd be worth getting both of them out, getting them serviced, getting them ready to go for the season, and all my other stuff along with that. Now today definitely isn't the ideal day for yard work or any of that, but spring in Iowa, I mean, that's how it goes sometimes. I may be out there mowing in the rain. It may be snowing a little bit. Today, yeah, we'll see if we can catch it when it's not raining. And it's windy. And it's cold. It's like in the 40s. As you can see, just a beautiful sunny day out. What a great time to do some yard work. Now that we got these things drug out, I guess it's time to get to work on them. So if you saw the last video where I worked on the self-propelled unit on the errands, uh, that one I went through and basically did a full service on. Uh, checked the air filter, checked the spark plug, did an oil change on it, fresh gas, uh, did a seafoam treatment on it, kind of the whole nine yards. So I'm not too worried about that one. I'll probably check the oil, maybe while I'm in there change it. Uh, just a nice yearly thing to do, but otherwise that one shouldn't be any problem. Now while the errands was having its troubles, uh, I went ahead and picked up this Honda mower. Now this thing, once I got the errands fixed, uh, has just basically sat. Unfortunately, I do like the errands a little bit better. The Honda is a nice mower, but I don't know what it is. I just prefer the errands. So this thing has sat for the last couple of years and is probably in need of some maintenance. So we'll dive into both of these, get them checked out. While we're at it, I got the weed eater out and the leaf blower. We'll take a quick look into those. Those are two stroke engines on both of them, so not a lot to do on those. Make sure they're topped up with gas. Maybe pull the spark plug out and just check those. But otherwise, pretty simple stuff. We'll just see if those ones will start. Both of these, I would assume, should start, shouldn't have any issue. But like I said, we'll dive into both of them and see where we get. Since this one should be the easiest one, I'll go ahead and take a look at the errands. I did use this all last year without any issue, so just a quick cleanup will get kind of all the crap blown off of it. Check the blade, make sure it looks okay, and then uh, top it up with gas and get it fired up. I want to check the oil in it, of course. I haven't run it. It's sat all winter. Make sure there's nothing weird going on there. But uh, otherwise, this one should be a pretty quick job. Yep, full up, right on the money. Oil still looks brand new. So yeah, I'm not even going to worry about that on this one. I will pop the cover here and take a look at the air filter. Simple enough to do. And maybe give it a quick blowout if need be. Oh yeah. Blow that out. There we go. Not too bad. Give the pre filter here a little blowout as well. I can get that off. Now ah, we're just going to pull it out like that. Oh, you can see. Just all the junk falling out of it already. There it 
goes. I don't want to blow that too hard because it is just a little thin piece of foam. It can deteriorate over time, blow apart, and I really wish I had this box off. Well, here goes nothing. Hopefully I don't get this in the car, but you never know. Now ideally I would have taken that apart, but this bar's in the way and I got a lot of stuff to do. I don't feel like messing with it. So I'll put my pre-filter back in there, put my regular filter back in there. Maybe, there we go. Button that back up. And then I'm just gonna give this thing a quick dust off. is already so messy I need to sweep this thing that just a little bit more. Not a bad idea to go through these things you know a couple times a year and wash out the underside of the deck. Blow it out with a gun if you have one. Uh, if not you can just use like a wire brush something like that try and get everything out. I like just blowing it out. mess with that. Now this is what I'm talking about. I should have done this probably last fall. But this is all oh, the grass that builds up in here and that will collect moisture and rot these and rot these decks out. So I want to get all that pulled out of here. Try and do it gingerly so I don't make as huge of a mess. And then I can just put the big chunks straight in the garbage. All right, I want to get underneath this thing, take a peek, clean any garbage out of there, and uh, take, a, take a look at the blade and make sure. Now, the easiest way I've found over the years to get under there is not flip them over, uh, not, you know, flip them upside down or anything. Just flip it backwards like that. And then you want to put something on the handle that has a substantial amount of weight, enough to hold this thing up in the air. So my trick is to use an old junk battery. I got plenty of those laying around. something like that, throw it on the handle, make sure it's not going to go anywhere, give it a little jiggle test, and maybe I need two. But that's plenty of weight to hold this thing up in the air. We'll get a look underneath it here. All right, nothing too serious going on. A little bit of debris buildup. You watched the video where I fixed the drive unit on this thing. The belt area was all clogged up with debris. So I want to make sure I get up in there good, blow that thing out well. I think that's what caused the belt to come off track. sharpen the blade last year. Um, I like to just hit it quick with an angle grinder. I know there's way more professional ways to do it, but uh, it is looking a little bit dull out here towards the inside. It's not bad, but I also hit a lot of rocks and junk and stuff like that, and it doesn't make sense for me to take super duper care of my lawnmower blades when I basically just rack them. So that one's about the same. So I'm going to hit this thing with the uh, grinder quick, clean up that cutting edge, and get it ready for the season. Now on a lawnmower blade, you don't want them just razor sharp. 
So there is still kind of a little butt of an edge on there. And I'm not going to be able to get all of those rock chips and dings out of the blade. But overall, it's, you know, 80%, 90%. Anyway, I'm going to get the other one done here. And then, yeah, I think we're almost done with this mower. Throw a little bit of gas in it and see if it fires up. thing see if it's good to go now usually when I do store these over the winter yeah this I run it out of gas I do tend to either put a little bit of two cycle in it the last mow of the season or uh, like I'll put some heat in them and that tends to keep them sometimes I forget but you know usually you run enough of that kind of stuff through there and it should do all right so let's get some gas thrown in this thing see if it'll fire up this is gas. Yep, it's gas. Pretty sure it's not two cycle. Oh, just regular gas. Perfect. Let's go to the gas station and get some more. Look at that government. I managed to pour gas out of a non-approved gas can without blowing myself up. It is a miracle. Now, it is super windy out still, so I don't want to start this thing in here because, well, I don't want all those, I don't want all this mess to fly completely everywhere. Not that it already hasn't, but I'm going to take it outside. So I'm going to try and set you up in here so you can see out the door and see if this thing will pop off. Like I said, it's like 40 degrees out, so... I don't expect it to start the first pull, but usually during the summer, this thing's real good about it. What am I missing here? Am I missing something? No. It's just cold. that one sit out there and warm up for a minute and meanwhile jump onto this Honda yeah I'm my way all right well this one's definitely the one that's been sitting for a while I don't remember if I ran it out of fuel uh, not completely how bad does it smell it still smells like fuel that's a good sign the upside to these is that these two definitely share a similar motor, but very, very similar mowers. Everything's basically in the same place. This one is a handful of years newer. Still has the old 710 cap. Take a look at this oil. If I'm gonna change one, this will definitely be it. is, if anything, over full. It's getting a little bit dark. Alright. Shut that thing off. I'm tired of listening to it. Now, same deal as the other one. I'll pop this air filter off. Whew. Like I said, that other one has that bar that runs across there for the height adjustment. This one doesn't, so that comes off real easy. This one also doesn't run a pre-filter, which is interesting. Definitely just as dirty. So we'll blow this thing out and uh, yeah, start giving everything a good once over here. Not much to these little filter housings. You can see there's a couple little feet on the end of that. They just go right into these little hooks. And it just snaps in up at the top. 
So putting it back together is fairly simple. Just set your filter in there. Make sure those feet are in there. Oh, that one popped out. Get your feet set down in there. Close the lid. Simple as that. Good to go. Give this thing a quick dust off here. See, it's mostly just uh, shed dust on the thing at this point. Pretty sure I cleaned it reasonably well before I put it away, but worth going over again. Pretty much the same deal on the Hondas here. Not a whole lot of difference. Set it back. Throw my battery on it. Works good spot. Right there, perfect spot. Now, I know on the Hondas, the biggest difference is they have two blades. And these things do take a special tool if you need to remove them. I happen to have that tool, but I'm not going to remove them. I do want to knock all the crud out of this one and clean it up the same as the other, so I'm going to get to that. This one, I'm going to use a wire brush to take some of this out. So if you don't have an air compressor or any way to blow these things out, a wire brush just by itself works great. It'll knock all that big heavy crud out. And that's really what you're concerned with is just all this junk collecting moisture and rotting out your deck. There we go. Now I got a huge mess to clean up. Awesome. And this is a good example of why it's important to clean these decks out. You can see how big that pile is. That's just a little bit I swept in this area, but like there's my hand for reference. So all of that just out of two lawnmowers, and that wasn't even being like super detailed about cleaning. That's just blowing it out with an air gun, a little bit of wire brush. So definitely something to take care of. You know, hey, you get to it when you get to it. Sometimes lawnmower maintenance isn't the most high priority thing. Unfortunately, a lot of these are built to just be kind of throwaways. Yeah, we'll throw some gas in this thing, maybe pull the spark plug and see where we're at with that and give this thing a whirl, fire it up. I like to let them run a little bit before I change the oil and just, uh, you know, let it warm up, let it flow, let it break down any carbon or anything that's built up in there. And then we'll get to drain the oil on this thing. All right, as long as I got the gas out right here, before I forget, let's top this thing up. Well, maybe. Oh, I actually have enough to fill both of them. Yep, there we go. Well, that's a good sign. The gas that's in it, you know, of course, gets mixed with this, but everything's clear. It's not all yellowed and varnished and looking nasty, so. I don't remember, but I guess I probably put some heat or something in it since I knew it would be sitting. So, fuel's on on that one. Oh yeah, I want to pull the spark plug. Take a look at that thing. Any of these Honda style engines and most current, you know, mower engines, spark plug's going to be right here at the front. Easy enough to get to. Just right there. Bam. 13, 16 spark plug socket. Grab that. Grab a ratchet, and why not an extension? There we go. Now if I remember, this thing has a fairly new spark plug in it. That's actually looking really good. Not too shabby. I may just hit this real quick. Actually, as long as it's right here. Just hit this quick with the wire brush. Just to knock any little bit of anything off there. Yep, perfect. That's about all we're gonna do. I don't think it needs a new plug, so I'm not gonna worry about that. 
unless your mower is burning a ton of oil or running wrong, carburetors acting up or something like that, you shouldn't be going through spark plugs very often. It's not like these things get hundreds of thousands of miles on them like a car would or a truck or something. So typically a spark plug is going to last just about forever unless you're having some issues with it. So always a good thing to check. Maybe clean it up real quick for free and 30 seconds of work. Just good insurance. All right, let's wheel this one outside, see if it'll run. Oh, there we go. officially worn out. Celebrate with a little Mountain Dew. Ah, so good. All right, well, I guess on to the next two. Should be, knock on wood, the easiest things. Leaf blower and weed eater. Not a lot to do to those, just pretty much put gas in them. They should run. Uh, maybe check air filters, stuff like that. Weed eater, I need to throw some new string in, but other than that, we'll try cranking those things up. Perfect timing, too, because I'm out of regular gas. This one should be about the easiest. It's pretty much the newest thing in my fleet. I'm going to check the air cleaner real quick, and that's pretty simple on this. It just pop this tab right here, and this thing just comes right off like that. A little bit of grass. All this has is a little foam filter. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that looks fine. Jam that back in there. Right back in. And that's it. It is a little low on fuel, so I'll top that off. There we go. Easy enough on that. Look, again, I didn't blow myself up. Wow. So tough. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, put it on start, prime it up. Actually like five or six pumps on these will get it done. Make sure I get this on. That's on start. strokes that one runs again like everything else I have a couple of different weed eaters uh, I just happened to grab this one this one uh, doesn't tend to ever give me any fits so don't don't usually have to mess with it much the uh, filter looks fine There we go. It's got oh about three 
quarters of a tank of gas in it. That should probably do fine as well. And there we go. Let's see what this one does. Still just running away. All right, time to drain the oil on this thing. Now, is this the right way, the wrong way? Uh, does it really matter? I don't know. But on this Honda, I just pour it right back out of the spout. There we go. Easy as that. No drain plug. Not much of a mess. That's about as good as I'm going to get it. Grab a rag. Wipe that all down real quick. A little rust preventative on the uh, body of the old thing here. Look at that. Shining like new. Just stick that in there for now. Wipe up the rest of my mess. Now most lawnmower engines, you know, you're going to check the owner's manual and see what they'll have a specific type of oil or something that they want to use in them. Uh, for the most part, I just run non-detergent 30 weight in pretty much everything that's a lawn and garden unit. Today's uh, flavor of choice is some actual Briggs and Stratton 30 weight. So we'll run with that. Oh, way too much. You also want to make sure you're staying uh, plenty hydrated. <sighs> mm-hmm. Good to go. That fluid's topped off. simple as that that's pretty much everything in my arsenal minus one weed eater that is serviced and ready to go for the season i guess i didn't do the hedge trimmer but i shouldn't really need to trim hedges this year it is just another little two cycle and should be just about as easy as the other two to fire up so we'll leave that one to be but yeah overall in an hour hour and a half's time I got two lawn mowers and a weed eater and a leaf blower serviced up, ready to go for the season. And uh, yeah, now the hard part, I gotta get out there and mow. And it's cold out.
this is something that you're debating doing versus say taking your mower in to you know a repair shop and getting serviced you can definitely save yourself a ton of time a ton of money and uh, you know get it done yourself for cheap so that's pretty much my spring service ready I need to now clean up the garage from all that mess I hope that helped you out we'll catch you next time thanks for watching